Hey everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back. And this lighting sucks right now because I choose to record so late as the sun is setting, but um, that's fine. <laughs> I am in the midst of creating these twists, which I adore. They're so convenient and it is my go-to quarantine hairstyle <laughs> of choice. So that's what I've, I'm rocking. I'm going to show you guys how it's done. And it seems like, oh, it's just twist. It should be so easy. But if you go in with that mentality, your twists will unravel. It's not as simple as you may think. It's not just twisting your locks. They will unravel. Even if you put a rubber band on the end. Trust me, I know from experience. <laughs> So let me show you guys my little technique. It's kind of hard to explain, so I'm gonna just zoom in so you guys can see, and I'm gonna try to stay out of the sun. <laughs> so when putting these twists in, I did not use gel. I did a soft retwist, and to me, I don't know if I made that up or if that's a thing, but to me a soft retwist is when I don't use any gel or any products to retwist it. I just twist it while it's wet. However, the locks around my hairline in the front, I am using gel because I want that to look more defined because my last set of twists, I did not do any retwists and my roots looked messy. So I want a more neat look this time. So I'm going to twist them really quickly. And my hair is freshly washed, by the way. So it's damp. And I did have to re-dampen it because I did my makeup and that took some time so my hair did dry up a bit. So I'm going to actually just do four at a time so I can show you the twist. So that's one, two, three, four and I'll put these in twists. And yeah, so I'm using four locks for my twists. I find it easier for me to do four at a time. One, obviously, it takes less time because, you know, it's not so tedious with two locks per twist. But also, um, I find that when you're using more locks, you're getting more friction. You're getting more friction, and that's what helps to keep the twist from unraveling. So, so these two are longer, and these two are shorter. So I'm going to make sure that I, I have one long one with a short one so, that, so I don't run out of length at the end. Okay, so I'm going to start off just twisting regular because I don't want it to be too tight at my roots. Just regular twist. See? You see I'm just twisting it. I'm not really doing much. If I were to do this throughout the length of the lock, it would absolutely unravel. So at this point, I'm a couple inches down, so now I'm going to start to twist twist. So basically, that involves a flick of the wrist. And as you're doing it, you may notice um, it feel, it's feeling um, tighter. You feel more tension at the root when you do this. Um, that's fine. Um, obviously, don't hurt yourself. But let me get in a little tighter for you guys. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, okay, like that. It's really hard to explain, but you see how I'm like my wrists are twisting and flicking. And what that really does is it helps to bring some more friction and like with the the locks to help it stay um, more taut and tight. So. I hope this makes sense. And as I get down to the bottom, once I get down to just two, this is okay. Babe. And now that I'm down to this part and I have this much lock left, I'm going to hold on to that little piece, twist this up, and twist the lock upwards and around. So 
see so that's what it looks like and I'm going to secure that with a little rubber band and when it comes to these little rubber bands on your locks just wrap it around three times that's it I think wait is that three or two that's two do three times because it's easier for you to get a grip of it when it comes to taking off yet it still is able to fit firmly and see when I let go it stays it doesn't unravel so that's that's pretty much how it's done so I'm gonna guys I'm gonna show you guys one more I have five locks left so I'm gonna do this twist with three and two I'm gonna retwist it and come right back I love these twists and I love them better than the braids because I think they're just easier on the eyes they're softer and I think they're easier to make look neat and pretty sometimes like if you're braiding with an inconsistent strength some braids may come out more wonky than the other but it's, it's just easier to get it right when you do twists oh it just looks I just really like it I have a feeling this is going to be my go-to summer style because as you may know if you oh my god look oh I missed a, a lock you know what that means I'm gonna have to make a lock knot or maybe I will no you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna twist it around neighboring lock I'm gonna just twist it around sorry guys what I was, what I was saying though is that um oh that really sucks Keisha why don't you just untwist it nah we we, we being lazy right now it's fine <laughs> but um yeah this is gonna be my go-to summer style because as you may know if you fo follow me like my hair gets on my nerves so much in the summertime because it's so long and it just makes me hot um and I find that these twists they're just so much easier to manage they're a lot easier to throw up and updo they're so, so much easier to just um, even put up in an infinity head wrap they're easier to just tw um, tie it out of my face uh, it just it just makes it so convenient so I guess I guess for those people who have really thick locks you know I can see a perk of having really thick locks because you have less it feels like less hair in the way because you don't have so many strands dangling. It's because your hair is thicker. I hope that makes sense. That doesn't look bad. So I'm going to twist it. It stops right here. So I'm going to add a rubber band. Hmm. I can't believe I let that happen. I mean, I could believe it. <laughs> I have 94 locks. I should have been able to do this properly. But actually, you know. I'm not the best at math, but 94 is not divi divisible by 4. So, so yeah, some, thi some things are going to be off. I should have known. Well, I did have that one in the front that was 5 locks. But anyway, I have to do math to figure, figure that all out. <laughs> so that's it. I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Love, light, and locks. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And remember to subscribe. You can always visit www.keishacharmaine.com for hair growth products, hair accessories, and more. But don't leave just yet. Check out my featured video and my latest video.